It is the 18th of the 6th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Had a good weekend, uh, Father's Day. Hope you had the same for all you fathers out there. Let's get started, shall we? Sop.net, dead turtles wash ashore on New Jersey beaches. Uh, they found four turtles, loggerheads. Tenth dead sea turtle for Delaware recovered in Dewey. Um, they found a big uh, leatherback, the remains of a leatherback, uh, swimming or floundering in the ocean right there. So they dragged it up and uh, had some people look at it before they were going to bury it. Uh, leatherback is an extremely rare species. I uh, know we're having all these fish deaths and stuff along the East Coast. You got to remember all that crap um, comes out through the current into the Atlantic Ocean from the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, we're still dealing with the BP oil disaster and will be for uh, many, many years to come. Uh, human caused catastrophic global warming exposed as big lie. Very interesting read. I highly recommend it. 6.4 magnitude earthquake strikes off the east coast of Japan. Um, historically a seismic uh, active area. Now if you go back and look at some of these maps where it shows all the earthquakes that happened over the last two years over the, the island of Japan and you can pretty much see the entire island is covered with quakes. So uh, like I was saying before that island is slowly going into the Pacific Ocean. And they're going to go starting up a couple of nuclear reactors here in a few weeks. I'll get to that later. Mysterious flood in river cuts off 13 villages in India. Um, let me get to the meat of this one. I'm going to switch over real quick. About two kilometer stretch of connecting road disappeared and all retaining walls across the stream has completely collapsed. Residents of Mud, uh, Guling, Sangnam, uh, Car, and other affected villages are requesting government to drop ra uh, ration, LPG, kerosene, and other facilities by air. They can't get uh, supplies to these people. They're running out. Quote, we have a ration stock for some more days, but, it's, but most of the people have finished their available LPG and kerosene oil. Uh, resident of the Mud Village over the phone. Residents are surprised to see non-stop flow of water and debris which they claim to have never witnessed before for decades. It's surprising how black water mixed with black debris has been oozing out of the mountains without rain for the last 11 days. It's impossible for glaciers to melt so fast, he added. So something very amiss is going on in India right now where this water's just just black craps just gushing out of these mountains and flooding out 13 villages. And uh, they're having to send out helicopter to rescue the tourists. Uh, apparently there's some Israeli nationals out there uh, touring around. Colorado wildfire. High Park fire claims 181 homes and continues. Uh, the number of homes lost in High Park fire has reached 181. The most in Colorado history surpassing Four Mile fire in 2010 which claimed 169 homes. Meantime, the evacuation order for residents in the Santanka Trail area on the north end of Horsetooth Reservoir have been lifted. And we've got another 6.1 earthquake in Luzon, Philippines off the coast. Uh, that's two 6.0s right there on that ring of fire. Uh, boom, boom. Over to the extinction protocol, they've got a bunch of stuff going on. Colombian volcano uh, Nevado de la Ruz, which I've been reporting on, spews ash and gases and rumbles with strong, strange noises. Uh, people living on the slope said they heard strong, strange noises coming from the summit of the mountain on Friday and Saturday. Officials say an orange alert first declared three weeks ago is still in place for areas around the summit. Uh, over to the meet. Scientists and observatory warn that there is a risk of an eruption within days or weeks. So we got another big volcano popping off. Hurricane Carlotta dumps torrential rains and kills three in western Mexico. Uh, two girls were killed when their house collapsed in southwestern Mexico in a mudslide under heavy rains. And uh, we all know the story. Uh, war drums, Russians sending two warships with Marines to Syria. 
and violence breaking out on the Israeli-Egyptian border. Greece steps back from the brink of an abyss in early poll results. This is all bullshit. Uh, where was the other story? Indonesia's Mount Meripai volcano spews volcanic ash. A Mount Meripai in West Sumatra province spewed volcanic ash up to 500 meters into the sky Sunday morning. And a very seismically active area as well. Japan to start two reactors to meet electricity needs. I'm calling severe bullshit on this. Uh, I've seen the stories and I've reported the fact on that this has nothing to do with the energy consumption. This is, this is all to do with uh, money and jobs. And uh, they can't economically um, survive these, these power companies in Japan because over half of their, their whole infrastructure is based on the nuclear industry. And uh, with uh, most of their games out of play, um, they can't seem to make the cash and get their bonuses. This is all about money, folks. This is all about money. And uh, they doubled the tax on the utilities as well for the Japanese so they can pay for this nuclear disaster. It's not coming out of these people's pockets. Uh, they're making the people pay. And uh, that's about all of from there. Let's go ahead and go to the nuclear stuff. High alert, a very strong typhoon forecast for Tohoku, Fukushima area on Wednesday. Direct hit in June, quote unquote, very unusual. I know I just put out the report that changed the track a little bit. So uh, from what I'm reading and stuff, by the time it hits the Fukushima Daiichi um, nuclear power plant, uh, should be right around tropical storm strength, but it's still supposed to unleash um, four or five hundred millimeters of rain minimum and uh, of course all the winds and they're going to be right there on that storm surge so uh, let's uh, wonder why they just put a 60 ton cover on number four spent fuel pool and uh, we'll all keep an eye on the tarp overhanging the number one worrisome trend returns hydrogen levels spike two and a half times over four days at reactor number two we still have fission going on. These nuclear reactors have melted through containment, though they don't want to admit it. And uh, we are dealing with the after effects of that. Fatal error. Japan given precise radiation levels from the United States government just after the explosions. The officials kept data secret from the public. Year of safe, quote unquote, radiation received in just eight hours. Uh, this postponed the uh, evacuations that took place right after the, the, the explosions and whatnot and uh, many many people are sitting there under the delusion um, that they are safe when they are not. Nobel Prize winner on NHK only way to preserve human life is to completely turn away from nuclear power I couldn't agree more I'm not big on the Nobel Prize winners being Al Gore and uh, Barry I mean President Obama's peace uh, M, uh, there's the 6.4 earthquake, and uh, camera person sobs while filming huge demonstration at Prime Minister's residence. Uh, please watch it, you will feel the power. Back on the 15th, uh, they had up to 11,000 people uh, protesting in front of the Prime Minister's office. I mean, the protests are continuing even right now. Uh, but the news seemed to uh, cover the smaller protests that took place the next day on the 16th where only 4,000 people showed up as not to uh, over uh, dramatize the people's anger. Uh, expert in Japan, Fukushima is one of the biggest things to ever happen to Japan and the world. And uh, that's about all new they have going on tonight. Now over at um, Fukushima Diary, I've got a story. Cabbage grew four times bigger than usual in uh, Oita, O-I-T-A. Now you see the photograph of this. The guy's got the normal cabbage and, it's, and the other one's just, I'm talking huge. Uh, 80 cabbages grew four times bigger than usual. Then it's 36 centimeter wide or 18 centimeter high. Uh, long around weighs four kilograms at average. The agriculture department uh, of the Ota prefecture comments they didn't change the way of farming. 
The reason why this grew up, why it grew this big, is not known. Uh, the harvest period is about half a month behind the usual, but it's rare to grow to be these size. The farmer uh, also comments he has been planting cabbages for 10 years, but he hasn't seen such cabbages. Nobody's testing these cabbages for uh, nuclear radiation. They're not testing anything. Just, hey, bonus, they got big, giant Godzilla cabbages growing in Japan right now. I encourage you to read this story. Over to the EXSKF. Now, they're going on and on today about um, the OI nuclear plants starting back up and the protests that are taking place to try to prevent that. Uh, the Prime Minister has declared um, that it is for the people's benefit, but you got to understand corporations are people now, too, uh, that these nuclear reactors start back up. And uh, th remember, these are the two that are right on the fault line, literally on a fault line. The insanity continues, it continues, but they have several stories uh, going on and on about um, how the Japanese people are protesting this, uh, tooth and nail, a bunch of them. And they've also got a story now, they tell us, Minister of Reconstruction tells Fukushima town mayor, decontamination has its limits. And that's about all I'm going to throw at you tonight. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.